Okay, so go ahead and sign up for a Mailgun account. And once you've signed in, you'll see a dashboard much like this. Now, there's a few things that you need from here. So just to be aware of what you need to pick out when we go through the series, you've got an API key here and you've got a public API key here. We're going to need both of them uh, when we're connecting to the API. Uh, we've also got the Mailgun subdomains here and in this case we've got a sandbox uh, which allows us to send uh, 300 emails a day which should not be used in production. Now if you have a domain that you're sending email from go ahead and hit add your domain, follow the instructions and obviously if you have any trouble you can contact Mailgun uh, and I'm sure they'd be happy to help. So this is the, at the point where we've got everything we need to connect. We're also going to need to set up a mailing list because when we come to building the functionality here, uh, we're going to need to uh, have the ability to add whatever details are entered here uh, over into a mailing list. So let's hit mailing list at the top and let's click create your first mailing list. Now I'm going to call this news and you'll see that this um, gives an uh, a domain and this in this case it's just my uh, sandbox subdomain uh, and we can also give this a bit of metadata this doesn't really matter too much um, but I'm just gonna say here the latest from our website okay so once you've done this this is uh, information you'll need this is the alias the alias is basically what you're going to use to deliver mail to everyone that's subscribed to this list so you send an email one email to this news uh, list and anyone that subscribed to it will receive that email. So again, this is why Mailgun handles all of our uh, all of our email. So we've now got this mailing list set up, and uh, we can go ahead and um, and manage this. Basically, if we click on it, you can see that we've got uh, a list of recipients. We can check this, and you can check this when you're following the series to see uh, if when you do submit this form. Uh, that a user is actually added to this mailing list and that's all we need to set up for now um, just to make you aware of, of uh, some items that are quite useful unsubscribes is really useful to track anyone that has unsubscribed uh, this I um, demonstrated in the introduction video so I'll just go ahead and delete that one we've also got things like bounces uh, tracking and logs as well uh, logs particularly so you can see if anything isn't delivered um, you can go ahead and explore all of this functionality but for now we've basically um, created a mailing list here and we're ready to go so over back to the mailgun front we're going to need the api key and the public key uh, as well as the subdomain to connect to the mailgun api